You know exactly what this means, don't you, Sheila? You want to go to the beach? As soon as you grab the beach towel and the leash, it's game over. You know where you're going. This is hilarious. Go. We are going to the beach. This little knapsack thingy. Because you need 5,000 batteries to have with this camera if it's not hooked up to either an external battery or or like an AC outlet. So yeah, going to the beach, meeting up with a guy. He's actually from Greenville. Uh, his name's Jake. I'll leave his a link to his stuff below. I think he's just getting started with a YouTube channel and uh, and he kind of kills it in the Instagram world. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna go meet him there. He brought his puffer down to Charleston. I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I'm about to get on a major road. And yeah, safety first. So I will see you guys at the beach. All right, I'm basically basically here I'm on a side road again so you ask yourself why are you vlogging on the pocket cinema 4k I thought you couldn't do that yeah well that's what everyone says so that's what I'm trying out okay real quick sorry for the interruption uh, I just realized that the preset that I'd saved like on the preset menu for 4k DCI 12 to 1 raw have the internal microphones used as the audio source instead of the three and a half mil input jack which is what I was intending to use with the little Rode video mic something or another little tiny one. So everything you've been hearing up until now and pretty much until the end of the video, and now I guess, has been the internal microphone. So if you've been curious to see how the internal microphones sound outside and all that, well, it has been all internal microphones up until now through the beach until I start talking back here in this uh, updated office. Anyway, sorry for the interruption and back to our regularly scheduled programming where we are going to go back to the beach and meet Jake. State your name for the YouTube. Jake James. I don't like this. State your name for the YouTube. I can't actually see if you're in focus because the screen sucks, but. Jake James. Yeah. <laughs> so Jake here actually kind of kills it on the YouTube, or the uh, Instagram space. And you just started a YouTube channel? Yeah, well, I've had it for a little bit, but like for a while it was business, and now I'm starting to do more stuff like this. So YouTube was business, now it's kind of a personal thing. Oh, nice. My dog's. Dropping a Ooh, dropping a hot one right on the beach. One second. So that was like mildly, mildly successful trip to the beach. And mildly successful in the sense that I kind of forgot to vlog a lot. I was just having a good time hanging out with uh, new friends and just seeing my dog frolic in the ocean because that's the happiest place she ever is, is, is the beach. So that was fun. Speaking of new friends, uh, definitely go check out Jake James. Check out his vlog. I think he's going to start ramping up, putting more content out uh, in the future. And he's a really talented filmmaker. He's kind of from the upstate of South Carolina, and I'm down here in the low country. We linked up over social media. So really stoked that we're able to link up. Uh, really cool dude, and yeah, really talented filmmaker. So I'm excited to see what he's going to put out in the future. So definitely go down uh, to his channel and uh, hit that subscribe button, send him some love. So if it sounds not great and it looks not great right now, it's because I'm in the process of kind of revamping, renovating the studio, painted the walls white, and uh, kind of shifting things around. Got a desk over here uh, that I can kind of run like emails and all that kind of stuff for my business on that side. And my main editing machine is just strictly for editing. So uh, yeah, pretty excited for that. So anyway, that's a whole nother video, but if it looks and sounds different and bad, then just sorry. I'm just using light from the window right now. So anyways, um, vlogging on the Pocket 4K is it possible. Yeah, it's it's possible. It's not ideal. Um, autofocus definitely helps. I typically will like to vlog on a 
uh, my Canon camera because it has the dual pixel autofocus and it works really good. And quite frankly, a lot of the times I'll just put it in auto white balance or, or auto ISO or, or a combination of the both, depending on what I'm shooting and where I'm shooting just because of the convenience factor. And honestly, it, it's, it's really nice to just not have to think about that kind of stuff when you're vlogging. Um, be, uh, sometimes, sometimes it just depends on the situation. So one trick I did to kind of get around the autofocus thing was I just hooked up an external monitor and you don't have to have a dedicated external monitor. You can plug it into a computer monitor or TV or whatever that has an HDMI output just so that you can get your initial focus. And what I did is I just put my arm all the way out and I just said, okay, this is how far I'm going to keep the camera from me from now on when I'm talking to it so I know I'm focused. And then I just used the monitor and then adjusted the focus until I was in focus using focus peaking, which you can send over HDMI, even if your monitor doesn't have focus peaking in it. You can use HDMI and send the focus peaking over the HDMI feed. You just adjust your focus until you're in focus. And then you just remember what number it's at and on the lens that I have is at 0.5. Anytime I'm going to talk to the camera, I'll just put it at 0.5. Make sure that I'm the same distance away from it the entire time. And then I know that I'm in focus all the time and it's something that's repeatable and consistent. So that kind of gets rid of your focusing problem and then and then the rest is just creating content. It kind of makes you more intentional uh, as a filmmaker to uh, when you're doing any kind of sequence where you're not filming yourself, you're filming someone else, or you're shooting a B-roll se sequence that helps tell the story a little bit better. You're, you're kind of focused on having to pull focus and, and be more intentional about that yeah, pulling focus, setting exposure, all that kind of stuff. So if you end up using the pocket camera for a run and gun type thing or a documentary or something where you're having to change things on the fly, you kind of have that little bit of experience and that little bit of, of know-how of changing the camera in and out really quickly, settings and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you use use this camera to your advantage if this is what you have. Vlog with it, use it to your advantage to learn it really quickly and learn all the ins and outs of it and how the camera reacts to different shooting situations. If the pocket camera is your only camera that you have or if that's the only camera that you plan on getting, but you also wanna do vlogs for YouTube or, or Instagram or whatever, you can definitely do that on this camera. It's not just a cinema camera. And all those keyboard warriors out there are saying this is just a cinema camera. I get it, it says cinema camera, but just relax and holster that keyboard for a minute, guys. You can use the pocket camera as a vlogging camera. It's not ideal, but it, it's definitely usable. And if that's the only camera that you have, then don't let the, the name cinema camera shy you away from creating content and vlogging on YouTube. Thanks a bunch for watching this video. If you liked it, definitely hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, all that kind of good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.